Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna have a pretty, a pretty cool video. Uh, it's gonna be short, easy, to the point, but where do you get hydrographic film from? Where do you get your supplies from? So I uh, had a couple of questions and comments about that, so we figured we'd shoot a quick little video and tell you guys kind of what we look at whenever we are buying film and things like that. So um, first off, let me preface this with, we are a supplier of the hydrographic material. So we supply um, film, we supply any of the paints, the primers, the clear coats, the training, the tanks, the equipment, pretty much everything that you're gonna need for the hydrographics, we supply it. But of course, as you guys already know, we do a lot of videos on everything for hydrographics. So of course, had a couple of questions about where to buy, the best places, things like that. So I wanted to kind of give you a quick little rundown of what I would normally want to have any customer look for whenever they're purchasing hydrographic film. So number one, do they have a phone number on their website? I know this sounds very simple and very pretty much easy, but um, you know, with the hydrographics, it is not the easiest thing in the world. So whenever you have an issue, or let's say that you might have bad film, or you might have a defective product, or anything like that, you know, do the does the company answer the phone whenever you call? Um, that's going to be a big thing, especially for technical technical support or anything like that. That's definitely going to be something that you definitely want to make sure of whenever you're buying the film. One thing to kind of remember is, is that whenever you're buying film from say eBay or Amazon or something like that, you may not know where that film is actually coming from. It may be from a third party uh, seller that is selling it and maybe they just run it out of their house and they have another third party that ships it for them. How are you going to contact anybody for the technical support or anything like that? Also too, uh, the other thing to also make sure of is is that how is it stored? You know, in a warehouse or something like that, those are normally not air conditioned or climate controlled or the, the humidity is not kept right. And so the problem is is that whenever you have film storage, especially with film, the film is moisture sensitive. Humidity is definitely a big factor in making sure that that film stays really crisp and it works the way that it needs to work. So definitely make sure that, of course, whenever you're buying your material, make sure that it's being stored properly. Most of the larger hydrographic companies around, they will always have a climate controlled storage. Any type of dehumidific dehumidification process or dehumidifiers, things like that, just to make sure that everything is always on point, it's always set up, ready to go, so then that way it keeps the film lasting a lot longer and of course you're going to be getting a better product at the end of the day so another thing to definitely look at is is looking at the overall cost of the film inevitably there's always going to be cheap and then there's always going to be very expensive and so the biggest thing to remember about the film is is that you always normally always get what you pay for so if you're paying like a dollar for some film then I would not expect it to work very well versus if you're paying $10 or $20 or something like that for a lot better film, um, something that has uh, been stored correctly, it has the technical support for it, it has all of those things and of course it has the proper storage, then of course you should be paying a little bit more premium for a better quality product. We see it all the time here where customers will bring in film, they can't get it to work, we ask them where they got it from and it was from another third party or another vendor and then we may have the same film. Even though it's the exact same pattern, it is still made differently because different manufacturers make film to different quality. And so maybe they got a discount on it and they were having a clearance sale or something like that. And so of course, they got some film that may not have been exactly perfect or it may not have worked exactly the way that they needed it to. So of course they're having issues with it. So definitely wanna to try to make sure that you buy good quality film and you're not paying just the cheapest price possible because at the end of the day, if you buy the film and then it doesn't work, then guess what? You gotta buy more film and then now you're pretty much almost double probably the cost of what it would have been to just buy the film from a reputable supplier, from us, from any other company around. And then of course, now you have a good quality film that you could use and probably use a lot less um, headaches with 
and you're gonna get a better quality result. And coming up to the last point, you know, the other thing to look at whenever you're buying your materials or anything like that is, do they have a good support system? I know I talked on this earlier, but is there videos like we make all the time where they help you out and things like that? You can kind of put a face with a name and um, that way, whenever you call, you can actually talk to me. I'll help you with the technical support, things like that. Does other companies have that? That's definitely something to definitely keep in mind whenever you're purchasing the film or really anything. It it could be equipment, it could be paints, it could be anything like that. Do they know what they're talking about whenever they go and they try to sell you something? So of course, if you have any questions or comments about where to get any of the supplies from, you can always check out our website, uh, liquidconcepts.com. We have everything that you're gonna need from film to activator to uh, training, even videos on there, as well as equipment and everything that you're gonna need for the hydrographics, as well as we also do training. So then that way you can get set up and going and it makes it a lot easier if you're definitely getting into the business. So if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related, as well as definitely look at our website, liquidconcepts.com. It has everything that you're going to need for the hydrographics. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.